guys and welcome to this video and today I will be showing you how to make a logo and this is just from my perspective uh, so you can make your logo in any other different ways but uh, right now I'm just going to show you how I made my logo so what I used is a program is called Zima 4D uh, very good program very good program uh, you can either buy it or get it for free uh, it's your choice um, or give it a th I think they have a free, uh, free tr uh, trial uh, I have the full version um, uh, oh wait I don't even know forget whatever I said I, I think you can actually uh, I don't think no anyway forget that right now so will you uh, to move the camera here uh, you can see it's three bar, uh, four bars actually. I can't press on that because then, it, yeah, it it does um, fucks up. Uh, it does it doesn't basically work. Um, uh, but you can move around if you you have to hold on it and then move uh, your uh, mouse in the same time while you're holding, and then you move. Same thing if you zoom in, but instead for moving your back and forth, uh, your camera. Um, uh, your mouse, uh, you move it side to side. That I think, in my opinion, I think is a little bit weird. Or you can just sc uh, use your scroll um, scroll on your mouse and just do that. I think you can hear it actually in the background. But um, and then same thing to rotation. Just press hold and pre um, hold that and move your mouse around. And then you basically you got all the basics now, really, of moving and all that movement and what you want to do now is um, you want to come down to um, uh, you can see it says here um, uh, file edit or file edit objects tools etc etc I'm not going to read all that um, uh, so up here where it says MoGraph uh, you want to press on that and uh, what you want to do uh, now you want to come uh, down here where it says Mo text and that basically means you will add some text. I'm just going to put this up. Uh, rotation. Oh, I've actually forgot to show you that. Um, well, I'm just going to fix this first before I actually show you uh, what I did. Uh, so I'm just going to move that there, move a little bit outside, change my camera angle, and basically right. So, what I did is you can see, the, uh, see these panels here. So, here, uh, this first one. Um, is moving back and forth uh, on a straight line and then you can also take uh, just gonna see if I can reach it there uh, you can also take it back and um, also take it back and uh, here you can make uh, if you press here and then click on the text uh, you make it bigger and smaller uh, I can show you what other objects you can do uh, with that and of course the most uh, one, the rotation. You can rotate, rotate that any way you want. You can rotate it on that side like that. I'm just going to undo that. Control Z, and or you can rotate it like that, and maybe do that, and then uh, maybe rotate it like that. I'm just going to undo all these. Do and do and do and undo and do. So I'm just going to move. Uh, I'm just going to move that a little bit closer actually. And let's move it a little bit to the side as well. So what you have now is of course your text. So you want to press on the text up here, and then you can add a text name. And because my logo is TTBS, and it, of course I think you all know what it stands for. It says time, time to be something. Yes, that's what basically. And um, if you don't know what this is, death. Um, so this is a death. It's the. F it's basically uh, the thickness um, of your text. I actually just used uh, 65 and, uh, on my text. And you can see uh, you can't zoom in uh, very much. So what I did is I minimized it. I did it a little bit smaller so I can do a little bit more close up. And to make it even more smaller, uh, I just pressed on the text. And then down here where it says horizontal spacing, that basically means the spacing between um, your letters or yeah. Uh, so I'm going to make this so they basically go into each other 
uh, and then you want to maybe move uh, you can make it bigger of course if you don't think oh, oh that's not very big so I'm just going to make that a little bit bigger and then I'm ready uh, a thing also, you'll press on the text again uh, you can, this is what I actually is think is most important especially with the text or the only thing you can do with the text I'm not talking anymore um, <laughs> Uh, so you have the art. Uh, you have all these different things. It's got loads um, of. I can't even see what. I can't really even see what it says. Um, I can see the B and the S, but I can't see the two T's. Uh, oh, I I know that T's now. And and you can change all this. Uh, I don't actually remember what font I used for my uh, logo. It could have been this one maybe? No, definitely not that one. I can't remember, but you can choose which font you want. Uh, for now, I'm just going to choose nearly one of my favorites actually, and that is, see if I can find it. Um, come on, where is it? Uh, oh, was it on? It's, it's very, like, no, I think it doesn't work that one. Uh, should be a little bit down in the bottom. Uh, here it is. Uh, this one actually I uh, I like. It's but of course you can't take uh, the horizontal space like that clear then. So what happens is you have to. I think you have to uh, put that to fill it. Uh, actually, no. fill it here. Uh, what happens when you render this? Uh, you will be seeing. Um, what well, I'm starting to think that's not even my favorite one. Now that was definitely not my favorite one. What happened there? I can't believe I can't even remember my. It's at least it, it's that. It, yeah, this one. That one. Um, this is my favorite. I love this one. This is. This looks so cartoonish. Can't you see? It? It's very cartoonish. It, it, I like it. It's it's pretty damn cool. Uh, so I'm just gonna put these a little bit together just so they clip the sides a little bit. Actually, I'm gonna take a little bit out. Uh, so it clips uh, with each other and I'm going to make this a little bit smaller so you can see the whole text of course and now down here you're going to see materials if you double click on this um, you can get uh, um, uh, so I'm going to put some reflection uh, division, uh, division and I think I'm going to put uh, I'm not going to put fog it's all, I'm actually going to uh, do glow this time I haven't, never, I haven't actually done very much glow on my text. Uh, so reflection down pretty damn much. What glow basically does, yeah, it basically glows your text. And it could be pretty cool sometimes, in my opinion. So I'm just going to take like about the same color as, oh, not actually even near my same color. But so if you if you render this now, uh, you see it looks a little bit cool. Uh, I I actually like that. Oh, I want to have that my logo now. Oh, I shouldn't have done this. Um, so, so now, now we're basically ready with all that. And I'm also going to show you, uh, I think it's, yeah, I think, wait, I'll be right. Uh, so I'm back, and unfortunately I lost um, all the things I have done. Uh, I had to start on because it crashed and it's only because I'm recording uh, so that's actually I hate so I'm actually going to change uh, I'll be right back and I'm going to do everything I've done yeah what I showed you Done. I think I've done all the options again. I'm just gonna check a quick look. I actually haven't tried this actually with this. I'm gonna see if this looks nice. I don't know if it actually does that. I know I actually tried to fill a cap. Oh, it really does. It fills the caps. That actually looks pretty nice. Pretty nice. 
so what I'm going to do that that's going to be uh, the logo for now. And um, if you would like to have an animation, like of course uh, when you have like a font signed for uh, your YouTube channel, you have the only picture. You don't have a video because you can't. But if you would like, like in the beginning of your video, you maybe want to make a cool animation or uh, thing. So uh, maybe it would be cool um, if I just did this. Um, maybe some of you people doesn't know that, but if you uh, instead for clicking on that, uh, uh, because you can't click on that, I thought it was that uh, uh, for a long time ago. But just hold, hover uh, on the object then, or on this, none of these, and just hold in left, uh, left click, and keep holding, and then choose. Uh, so I'm just gonna make this pretty damn big. Uh, not very big, not very big, but reasonable big. Uh, just to uh, get everything going. So what I'm gonna do is maybe get a get like. Uh, I'm just gonna take my text a little bit more blunt. And what I'm gonna do is I am actually gonna make a cool animation with the plugins I've got. And I have one plugin. No. I have one plugin, and it's called Thousand. And what it does, it cuts up. Um, uh, something into pieces. So I'm going to click um, every piece into five, um, ev or oh, every uh, letter into five pieces. So, okay. Oh, I have to select. Sorry. So you have to select the object and then break. So what happens is this is going to come up, and oh, sorry, and it should break. Uh, if it has broken yet. Uh, A bit weird. Oh, sorry. <laughs> the whole thing. It's a little embarrassing. I'm just gonna try it out a little bit more. Um, so I can't see it. Uh, it doesn't. Look, it looks like it's breaking up, guys. Oh wait, it is maybe. Wait, wait, wait. No, that's just done. I just press C now. Okay, if I break it now, then can't break this. Hmm. Okay. Okay. Then I have to maybe do like this then, or maybe it is already broken. No, it sh no, it's not. <laughs> I'll go drag uh, some textures on. So let's see if that works now. Then five pieces and um, on collision. Yeah, it's breaking now. So I don't know. It actually does like damages sometimes with the plugin. I don't know if you could tell me in the description, um, description in the comments below, uh, why that happens. That I mean, I don't know. Do you have to add a color to it? I don't know. Uh, so now you can see, uh, it looks a little bit more wonky. But uh, when you actually render it, it looks exactly the same. It doesn't look any different. Uh, I'm just going to add a little color um, into the floor. I'm actually going to do a reflection, uh, not that much reflection, and I'm just going to add the color to about 130%. Uh, you can do it even higher if you want to, but so I'm not going to do that. The reflection has to go a little bit more high, but not that high because I want a bit of color as well. I just broke that on the plane. You can also add a sky. A sky is very good to use if you want to. If you want, like a uh, this, like the about the same background, uh, that actually looks crap. But that's the only thing. If you know why it went like that, uh, I think it's probably the reflection uh, uh, on. So what you do if you uh, if I take off the reflection, I think it is that. Uh, yeah, uh, and now you can see it's got terribly glow now. And that could be a problem. So that's that was I don't actually use glow uh, very much. Uh, it looks like it has, yeah, it's broken again. Uh, so this is gonna be very difficult to do a video. Holy! I'm sorry, guys. I can't actually sorry about all this uh, I can't actually show you
Okay, let's do this quickly then. I'm not going to take the same text or anything like that. I'm just going to call it text because it looks like every time I'm recording, it, it does damaging. I don't know why. It, I think this program can't handle it. I'm just going to do a very easy animation here. So I'm just going to bring that up. So I'm going to show you what I mean. So I'm going to press on the text. But again, plugins, Thrasy, break it into many pieces that you want. Not too many because it takes a long time to break then. Let's go break this quickly. Da, 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 done. And uh, I just wanted to do this as quickly as possible because I want to show you, of course. So in a plane, uh, I'm just going to make this big again. Um, uh, copy. Mm, I can't bother. Uh, pay. Uh, oops. Oh shit. Um, so like that. And uh, what to do now is to add an animation keyframe. Uh, you can make this longer if you want. Uh, this is basically uh, the animation time, and you have to drag that along here. So now I have a longer animation. How cool is that? Uh, so uh, you can um, you have to add a simulation tag. So you want to go into dynamic. You want to right click on the plane or another thing that you maybe added in if you want it to interact with something. If it needs it, so it doesn't just go through. Because if I don't put a dynamic tag, so if I just uh, take all this and then put it on immediately, so what happen if I it just goes through the floor? If you don't want it to go through the floor, uh, just add right click and then go into dynamic tags and dynamic body, and then put that into um, at uh, virtual peak. Uh, because if you put it on collisions, what happens is this. Uh, so if something interacts with that. It falls. Same thing with the text. Uh, so, yeah. Uh, but so to clear that, just to pro, uh, put at at the peak, and then yeah, and then it's gonna work. Uh, so uh, to make this cooler, um, like uh, I, I'm actually just gonna call this text. Oh, I can't actually because because things. Uh, so what I could do is I could put a keyframe. Uh, uh, I'm actually going to give a little shout out uh, now. Actually, wait, I'm just going to do this. So what I could do is I can put on on collisions for the moment, and then Control click on this, and that's added a keyframe. And what happens if if I move for 40, and then I put it on immediately and keyframe that again? What happens is I've made a little animation. So when it goes 40, collapse, boom. So that's basically how you make an animation. It's pretty simple, uh, in my opinion. I'm just going to give a little shout out. I'm going to put this link in the description. It's a guy I have learned all this from, and his name is Zeke Designs. Um, he's re he's a very good, a cool YouTuber. I really recommend looking at his videos. Uh, I can actually show his. Um, uh, sorry about this. Um, I can actually show his YouTube channel now designs is it that? I think he's got a Z in the yeah I think he's got a Z uh, and then it's just to go on oh sick no thanks cinema 40 uh, he's got a very cool YouTube channel um, he does uh, the cinema 40 Yeah, um, I'm just gonna press on one of his videos. Uh, sorry, because I'm doing. I just, I just want to give a little shout out to him. I like him. So this is basically uh, his YouTube channel. I put it in the description below. He do some awesome things. He doesn't just only do. Um, uh, he doesn't only do uh, Cinema 4D. But if you want to see some cool uh, Cinema 4D videos, I really recommend looking on his because he's his. He's brilliant, perfect what he's doing, he's done brilliant view, um, videos, and yeah, I've learned me all this, I've been showing you now, I've got from him. If it wasn't from him, I wouldn't even be, I wouldn't even be, maybe, um, playing even Sim of Ball D, I wouldn't even done that. So, I just want to give a little shout out to you, and go on his channel, uh, i put it down in the description below if you want to check him out. Uh, yeah, and I just want to say uh, thank you for watching this video. Still, if it has been a little bit of a crisis, um, I just want to um, 
I just want to thank you for all the views I got on my uh, first ever video. Uh, I just want to thank you all for looking on the video. I really appreciate. I really appreciate um, it. And I hope you watch uh, the rest of my videos I will be making. Uh, so I will see you later. Bye.